بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از آر لیسن سیون اینڈ انڈر دس لیسن وی آر کورنگ اے لاٹ آف تھنگس بٹ بفور دیٹ ون آف مائی کوٹیشن مارٹن لنگ ون آف دا ورلڈ نون ہم ابو بکر سراج الدین واز اے انگلش رائٹر اینڈ اسکالر ہو آلسو پین the history of holy prophet as well biography of holy prophet as well he mentioned that arabic cal calligraphy which transmit the verses of the holy quran into a visual form so calligraphy itself is converting actually quranic verses into a visual form as well that's what he said Under this lesson 7, we are covering the history about Ibn Mukla, who was the great pioneer calligrapher. He actually mentioned a lot of things about writing different six scripts as well. We will do a small workshop of Kufic scripts writing as well. And we will show you demonstration about how to create a suit ink, which is a, which is a traditional calligraphy. um um making the ink through fire and at the end my son is covering alphabet fa and kaf um to to do the workshop with um on it bismillahir rahmanir rahim today we talk about one of the pioneer calligrapher ibn mukla It's a very interesting story which I would like to mention to everybody. He is one of the great great calligrapher in Islamic history. I would like to start the point where I I like to mention about how that is been developed and when there's um other scripts available like Mar Kumar Madni Where, why we need to have Khati Nask at that time, which Ibn Mukla created. So the people from Kufa region came to writing the Quran at a world, very early years of spreading of Islam. That is why this early scripts given the name Kufic script. But actually it was derived from combination of Mar, Kumar, Madni, Makki and Hijazi scripts as well. So 400 years this script was used for writing this sacred book there was a consul at the caliph time who approved this script and ordered by government to be written on deer skin so which never been changed for 100 years after so this script only can be read and write by only arabs but not by ajmis So that was the major challenge facing the time when Islam spread to the vast areas of world and there were very rare to have the hard copy of the Quran. So when suppose that city Lahore required copy of the Quran they write to the consul the caliph consul send the Quran along with their muhafiz which is the memorizers of the Quran. so they recite the quran in front of the new memorizers of the quran which they learn from them but you they they are not allowed to make a hard copy of the quran the hard copy only uphold by the consul even this consul still exist so the quran initially reached orally to the other part of the world for first 400 years at this point I like to mention that it does not means that there was no other scripts were established or the people were not copying the Quran at that time there was dot or di diacritical marks already established during first 50 years of the Islamic history only law was created that Quran should only be write in this script which is a kufic script now I like to tell you the story that how the hard copy of the quran reached to your home so we know that 
we recite Quran at our homes every day. Our parents recite that, our children recite that. And how that reached? It was reached to you by Ibn Mukla, 940 AD. His full name was Abu Ali Muhammad bin Mukla al Shirazi. He was official calligrapher at the Abbasi Khilafat. He was the first one who placed the written foundation for Arabic calligraphy. So you know when you Google it about him, you only see his political history that he became three times prime minister during the Abbasi Khilafat. Three times he was behind the bar. They talk about how his hand been chopped or how he has been killed. I prefer to tell you the artistic side of history of Ibn Mukla, which is very, very interesting. It was very famous about Ibn Mukla that when he come out from his room or house, people start praising him. So, call, Caliph call him for his advice, so later he become the Prime Minister. There was a great respect for Ibn Mukla. I want to tell you what happened to us, what we have forgotten about this great Ibn Mukla. Very unfortunate as that his artwork now setting in every single museum home, but we never know about him. So Ibn Mukla was such a great calligrapher that he created six major scripts of the Arabic. The first Khat script he created was called khat e sulas which we are studying and we are doing a workshop at the moment, and which is called the Kings of Calligraphy. So he created six scripts. Those are khat e sulas khat e muhakkak khat e nask khat e tuki khat e rika and khat e rihan. So I will tell you about all of those huts as well at the later stage as well. And it was asked people at that time um, that how to specialize in art and history, what is the best and hardest art. The major of them will say that Pablo Picasso once said, where the lines of my art finish, Islamic calligraphy start from that point. But the beauty about the calligraphy is art is that it does not allow you to come out from his rules and principles. So, for example, if you are an artist and you are in a happy mood, you are, your art will have a positive tune and if you are in a sad mood, your art will have a negative tune. However, in Islamic art and especially in Quranic calligraphy, there is no room for change as you have to stick by strict rules and proportions. So what happened with Ibn Mukla? It was he created khat -e nask The meaning of Nask mean is the replace or copy and Ibn Mukla discovery of the Nask script replaced the Kufic script, which was established for few centuries before him as the main scripts for writing the Quran. But because of this, great opposition rose against him that how can you change the 400 years old Kufi script to a new script for writing the Quran. So he was sent to prison and his 200 students were also sent to the prison and they were charged for changing the scripts of the calligraphy and to start writing on paper instead of vellum or animal skin. The reason why that official put Ibn Mukla in, and his students in prison was that they were worried that non-Arabs would start to excel in reading, reciting, understanding and writing the Quran, which was a job solely kept by the Arabs. So Ibn Mukla answer to the Caliph was that most of my students are non-Arabs. Please ask them to read the Quran. And if they make mistake, you can kill me by your own sword. So the consul sat under the stadium big place and people gathering around them 
and an armed guard stood in front of each student and they were asked to recite the Quran. And if any of them made any mistake, they would first behead Ibn Mukla's head and then the students. So a jury was placed to check their recitations and when they could not find any single mistake in their recitations of the Quran which is written in Khatinas, they realized everyone including Ibn Mukla and they reinstated him to his premier position and the council accepted that from now you can read Quran from Nas script where it should be approved by us. So from that point, the entire Quran has been written, written in Khatinask and spread all around the world. Therefore now 95% of the handwritten Qurans that exist in the world are in Khatinask script. The beauty about this Khatinask is that it's very easy to read and write. And um, it doesn't have any non-dot kind of form where difficulties happen. Therefore, we can say we always remember Ibn Mukla achievements for creating a Nas script for us to allow non-Arabs to read and write the Quran. Jazakallah.
بله میشه با قلم رو نوشت قلم رو داره خودتون زمت میشه میشه کم جا جوزویم آنه جوزویم بری جوزویم هم میاد جهت داره الهم شارجی کتا بودم
Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we'll be covering two letters which are very similar but they have their differences as well, which is the fa and the qaf. So initially I'll show the fa. And in this lesson, I actually show that using the same letter of the fa, the same head of the fa, I'll join to the next letter. So initially, I'll start off with the fa. And watch how it's actually linked to the previous letters that, you've, that you have written. That's the beauty about the Thulith script. Many of the letters are linked to letters that you've already previously learnt. So you just add a few different variations and you've already mastered the letter. So now, initially, I'm going to start off by writing... The head of the fur. Now this head of the fur is the same as the head of the qaf, the same as the head of the wow. Look, I've stopped here. It's almost straight. Now I overlap it. Remember, you have to do this in two movements. I go up, then I bring it down. Straight, look at the orientation of my pen. I've straightened it. Now from here, I'm going to do the exact same movement that I did for my ba, my individual ba. Where you go down like this and you bring it up. But instead of having that kind of in sharp indentation that I had previously, almost like an apostrophe mark, I will actually go straight down using the head of the fur. Just think that the, fa, the head of the fur is not even there, and you're just writing the ba. So as we did previously, we go down, go down, slightly bring it up like this, just like the ba. Obviously this whole thing will be around six dots, but then normally in the ba, but in the fa, it's five dots, because this head of the fa is taking some space. Then over here, we have two dots for the fa. Then we have the two dots over here. Then from the line, it's one dot. <coughs> but now I want to show you something that is really, really amazing. Using the same head of your fa, we're now going to write the qaf. I'm going to write this in a different colour so you can see the variation. Now I've drawn the head of the fa. In the qaf, it's slightly elongated. And I'll bring it down like this. Similar to the noon which we'll cover later on. And then... I'll bring it up. So when I bring it up, that is your calf. Over here, the calf will have around five dots. From the line, it will be around two dots. Same proportion of the, the fur. And that is your calf. But then when we have the fur connected to a letter, it's slightly different. Now let's say we have a Arabic word such as Tafarraqu. Now when you're writing the ta, the fa and the ra, you draw the head of the ta, then you go up like this. Remember, it's not going straight. There's a slight, slight indentation, slight slant. Now look where it's ended, the, it's ended off. I go up, then down like this. And then I connect it to the head of my Ra, for example, just, just in this case. 
Kasyura. <coughs> Over here from the line, we have around half a dot. Then we have one nukta from here. The general area here is two dots, two nuktas. And one nukta from there. So that's how you connect it. But then, let's say you have a word, let's say a name, for example, you have a name such as Safina, all right? You draw your scene. I'm going to do this very quickly because the scene is not the, the important part of the lesson at the moment. It's the fur. But then you have a different type because it's in the middle of the letter. It's not the second to last letter. So I bring it up like this. Look how the thickness has changed. Then from there, it's much more rounded compared to the other one. Then I bring it back again. Look at how symmetrical this is. This one, obviously, where it was changing, it was different areas. The middle was different. Over here, it's absolutely symmetrical through the middle. Over here, it's around one and a half dots. From the top, it's around one and a half dots. And from the line, it's barely a half an octa. Even, it's more probably a quarter of an octa from the khati kursi. So that's how you'll write the different types of fa and qaf. Obviously, this will be the same if it was a qaf, same if it was a qaf over here. It's the same type of way, only the individual letter is different. So this is how you're supposed to write these two letters. And I hope that you practice these letters again and again, and both different types. And you notice that obviously, the fa you've already mastered. All you have to do is write the head of the fa, the ba you've already mastered. So you can write this again and again. And I hope you can try these different styles and master them. Jazakallah.